mom and dad left us the most is their legacy. And the most important legacy is the values they left us. And the second most important legacy, at least in my opinion, is the value that they put around creating jobs. They thought nothing better than creating more jobs and really more families to feed and more families to take care of and more families to really be a part of the DOT experience. The most exciting thing for me is looking at the growth areas of the business and the capital investment that's coming in and the opportunities that's going to generate for us all. As I see the growth that, that uh, the DOT had in the past and I know where we're going in the future. So um, that's, that's why I'm sticking around. Growth is there, we just have to make sure that we keep the promises that we're making to our customers. More jobs, more resources, more buildings, more tractors, more parking spots. Just mean that, that we can bring more quality people onto the team. Um, it means that we can promote more of those quality people on the team into bigger roles with, with larger responsibilities. We identified this amazing community in Manchester, Tennessee. The state of Tennessee and the community of Manchester are e extremely special and it just fits the DOT culture extremely well. It's a new chapter. DOT is not limited to the United States. There's a huge demand in Canada. When you look at Canada, where we started from to where we are now, um, we've, we've maintained the growth and I think Ingersoll is just going to set us up for the future. The additional space opens up the opportunity for us to solve more problems for our customers and our suppliers. Well, we're really going to be in a position to really bring what we consider the true DOT experience, both for employees, customers and suppliers. RDM Merrimex is a joint venture that we put in place uh, around 2015. Really, you can think of it as Dot Mexico. And their business model looks very similar to the model that we have here in the U.S. So they sell to food service distributors, retailers, anybody that is in Mexico from coast to coast. Uh, we deliver or have them pick up U.S. products uh, that they need to service their customers. Dot reaches customers in over 50 countries and territories and that includes distributors, wholesalers, and self-distributing retailers. All of our employees touch our international business, whether you know it or not. If you think about it, 10 years ago, DOT didn't even have any resources dedicated towards selling internationally. Our international journey at DOT is really just starting. Growth gets me excited. Giving back as a re direct result of that growth. DOT understands better than any place I've ever been the fact that in order for DOT to be successful, the community that it resides in needs to be successful as well. Our charitable program really focuses on our communities where our employees live. It excites employees, uh, you know, they, they're able to be vested in their own communities and it's fun. The programs that we have, they do make a difference in people's lives. You have multiple individuals across the company who are spending their time outside of work hours volunteering, who are just making a positive impact not only inside the workplace, but outside the workplace. A lot of the individuals were just amazed at the fact that we would be willing to make a large donation before we actually opened our building. Oh my goodness, we, we cannot believe that Dot Foods just donated $10,000 to Blue Monarch. What you guys have done, just coming to us, asking questions about who we are and what we do, and really getting to know the people that we serve, it's so incredible. We want to grow together, grow the business, and grow the family, grow the community.